Yo, what's up? Hello, people. My name is Lakasario from Yu Dojo, and I'm your sensei for today. Today, I'm just gonna show you guys how to use your Chaos Fracture with the Unreal Engine Sequencer, and it's gonna look something like this. Yeah, you can see the fracture there. So this is what we're gonna do today. So let's get straight into this tutorial. So starting this tutorial, um, I already have my scene set up. I also have my sequencer also ready in here so it's just simple he's gonna he's just going to punch the cube and it's just going to fracture so i'm just going to show you how to do the fracture and then bring it into sequencer so the first thing that you need to do is to fracture these this cube so all you got to do is to go to fracture click on new and then i'm just gonna add my fracture so just gonna name this Q fracture. I'm gonna find chaos um, chaos tutorial here and boof. Now it's not fractured yet, but it's just gonna replace it with its own geometry, which we can fracture. I'm not gonna go too deep into like chaos fracture because uh, I'm sure that you already know how to use the chaos fracture. If you want me to go deeper. You can leave it in the comments and i'm just going to do make that tutorial for you so but in this tutorial i'm just going to show you guys how to like fracture it and send it into your sequencer so i'm just going to click on this click on uniform and um i'm going to set the amount it should fracture into um this is the minimum i'm just going to set it to 50 by 50. just something basic all right and then i'm just gonna fracture it so there's the number of fractures that i have here i have about 50 in here and um what i'm gonna do is to check off my bone color and i'm gonna get my color back all right the next thing that we need to do which is actually going to control the dispersion of the of the fracture is by creating a, more like a field okay so i'm going to get in this folder right click blueprint and i'm just going to type field and i'll get my master field and i'll name it mf fracture so this is actually going to control how it should like disperse all right so if we check what is going on here if i click on simulate it's just going to like move out and everything is actually happening because of this master field so i just want to make it smaller not too large because the punch is not actually going to be that he's not going to do a super punch here <laughs> so i'm just going to maintain it around here let me see how it's gonna be um simulate and move it's just gonna be that let me see if i can make it a little bit larger maybe there about and um click it Oof. oh that's too strong i guess and let me see Oof. all right so let me try and find a sweet spot here and see what we can do. all right so what i'm gonna do right now is to click on fracture come to actor go to chaos and create a cache manager to cache my animation in there so i'm just gonna name this cube underscore cache and save this okay so cube i'm just gonna find it here so to make sure that this is actually in you'll find the name here and i'm just going to click on the record if it's actually there and i'll click on play okay so it's done after recording you just have to switch this to play and i'm just going to delete my magnitude 
and it's out so when i simulate again you see it's fractured without it meaning that it's actually cached into my chaos cache manager all right so the next thing is i'm going to my sequencer where i have everything set up and i'm just going to add my chaos cache manager which is this and i'll just add it in here the next thing is i'm just going to add my chaos cache which is going to be this one and i'll just find the I'm just going to push it down here I'll just put these down and just try bringing it down here okay so i'm just going to find where his hand actually sync it up it's going to be around here the place of contact is going to find it around here so yep okay, trying to find like um a sweet spot so i think maybe around here i could put it in the middle the middle part here they're about where the fracture is happening and um, i could like oof. yeah so there you have it it's quite simple you have your fracture in there all right so i'm just going to end here with this tutorial if you're new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and um, click on the notification to get notified whenever i post new tutorials and i hope you learned something see you on the next one clockwise